Now we want to finish up by unwrapping the supports, the bottom rim and the tassels, and then we want to organize our pieces on our UV space. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the supports. So I want to, I'm going to select one edge on each one. So I'm going to hit shift and select on the other one. Control L to select the length geometry and shift H to hide. I'm going to go a little bit faster in this part because it's basically the same exact process that we did on the top rim. So I'm going to go to the back view. I'm going to select. I'm going to hold control to tag these seams. I'm going to select them. View to unwrap. I want to straighten these out. So I'm going to go to edge select mode here. Hit align auto. This gives me a whole undistorted rectangle here. That's what I want to do here. Align auto. Change the face select mode. I want to select my good face and then go over here on wrap with follow active quads. Hit OK. So now this whole part is straightened out. I'm going to do the same with this one. View, follow active quads, and it's straightened. I'm going to select these and make the scale equal with control A. I'm going to select them again. Give them the grid pattern. And now I need to you see the squares on here are actually rectangles. They're distorted. That's not what I want. So I'm going to scale this. I'm going to hit S. And then I'm going to hit X to scale this on the X axis so that I can get some nice squares over there. to stack these because they're going to be identical and that'll give me more space on this UV map. So what I'm going to do is change the UV island here and I want to copy this location. Here's the location of this island right here. So I'm going to control C to copy that. I'm going to select, right click select this island and then paste it Control V, hit enter. And I'm going to copy the Y, Control C, Control V. Now they're in the exact same location. All right. I'll move this off a little bit here so we can move on. Alt H. So that we can see what we need to do next. Let's go to the tassel here. Select an edge, control L to get this whole rim. Shift H to hide everything else. We're in back view, so we want to 
the control and tag those things. You unwrap. Okay. Now we have a problem here. Want to put our grid pattern on. That's not what we want. We want this to be straight. So let's go over to edge select, hold alt, right click this to get the whole edge. Let's go on and hold alt, right click this next one, on and alt, W, on and Now, let's align this one down here. This didn't work as well, so let's do it the old fashioned way. We're going to select all of these. And then we're going to go scale x zero so they have the same scale i'm going to do that here s x zero select and follow up to pause and we've got to straighten out let's hit alt a alt h excuse me to go back We're going to move this to the side. Now let's tackle this tassel. Shift H. Back view. Numpad period to zoom in on it. Hold Control. Got a good unwrap on that on the first go, so we can just select it with A, G to move. Let's move it to the side here. Alt H to unhide. Oh, before we do that, though, I'm gonna use B to select this, assign it, grid pattern. Control L, Shift H to hide it. Control click, unwrap. Okay. And Alt H to unhide. So, first off, Going to position this tassel under this one. Now, if you noticed, I pinned these. So I'm going to show you how to pin. I'm going to take the pins off. Okay. So if you want to keep something in place, and you don't want it to be moved when it's unwrapped or moved when you do anything else you can select it so I'm going to use B to select this 
and then hit the P key to pin this to the board so this won't move. And now I'm going to get Control A to average on scale. Actually, I'm going to undo that. And what I want to do, because I don't want those affected, so I'm going to hit the B key, hold down the middle mouse button, and drag over this to unselect it. And I'm going to average on scale again. And now they're averaged along with this. They're averaged to themselves. And that's cool. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Put them here. Scale that down a little. Put those there. And when you're doing your UV map, remember you want to use as much of the space as possible. You want to you know, get these jammed in here as close as possible. I want these two things to have the same scale always because they're a complete unit, the top rim here. So we need, we need to always scale them at the same time if you're going to scale something. Let's see if we can get that in there. So this is kind of the hardest part to this whole process. Is organizing UV map. So I'm going to put this up here. This is the bottom room. these together so their scales are the same Select these. I'm going to scale them together. Oops, I don't want those up there. I want this the tassels. Scale them down. I want the scale of the tassels to remain the same. It's a box like this because there are two UVs stacked on each other. Move that up. Move that up. Move this up also. So we're going to rotate this. Move 
these up. And yes, this does get as tedious as it looks. So I'm going to make these just a little bit smaller and make these a little bit smaller and there we go. The thing that's most important to us is the lantern body so we can play around a little with the size of these other components. We don't want this to actually touch those other parts. And you can always play around with these, try different layouts. It's up to you. You don't even have to lay it out like I did, but this is just an example of trying to pack it in and Get them as small as you can. Probably move these down some. to see how close things are. And there you go. And now we have the whole high LOT UV mask. And in the next video, for the next class, we'll tackle the medium LOD.